you want to start off by having your custom cut line with a fill and a stroke applied to it. The circle represents the cut line. I used blend to blend the two lines to create a pattern on top. Once you get your etched lines the way you want it, bring your cut line to the front and expand any etched lines you have behind it. And now at this point, make sure your etch lines and your cut line both have a fill and a stroke. And then make a clipping mask to mask the area of the cut line. And your Pathfinder tool, I use trim to expand and cut the etch lines. Now you're left with your custom shape etch lines. I undid back to my cut line, copied and pasted my cut line behind it. So now I have my cut line and my etch lines. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions.